Anderson and welcome to this edition of Hacks to Stop Back Attacks. Now, if you're sitting a lot for work, then this is for you. It's a short little circuit you can do on your lunch break that will recharge your back and it's gonna activate muscles of the back that help to stabilize your spine to prevent future problems that result in pain and stiffness. So, first thing we're gonna do is the flying fish. We're gonna get a little blood flow going, a little activation. So for the flying fish, what you're gonna do is lay on your stomach. You don't need any equipment for this. And even if you only did this on your lunch break, it would be so much better than not doing anything or just sitting there eating. So sit and eat, but then get down on the floor and do a little of this. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze your feet together, squeeze your butt. You're gonna have your arms out like this and tuck your chin a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna lift up and down and do about four or five of those. Okay, then bring your hands around. Now, if you have the strength to stay here, stay here with your feet up in the air, squeezing your butt. If you need a little rest break, take one. Okay, then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your butt, squeeze your feet together. Don't let those feet come apart. And you're gonna lift up and down four or five times, tucking that chin as well. It's gonna lengthen and strengthen the muscles that stabilize your neck by tucking your chin. All right, then the next one that we're gonna do, you can rest for a sec if you want, and then you're gonna Tuck your chin, squeeze your butt, lift those feet up, squeeze those feet together, okay? And you're doing this, okay? And make sure you keep those feet squeezed together and keep that chin tucked. All right, then the next one, after a little rest if you need it, but don't take a rest if you can push yourself, if you can push yourself to go through all the way without a rest. Next one we're gonna do, squeeze those feet together, tuck your chin, we're coming straight back like this, okay? Squeezing those shoulders down and back. Do four or five of those. Take a rest break if you need it. And the last one in the series is gonna be alternating arm and leg. So squeeze your butt each time you lift. And if you can, don't have the opposite toe touching the ground. That's gonna be even more stabilization required. You're not lifting as high as you can because that could irritate your back. Small little lifts, little pumps, okay? And that's the flying fish. All right, so the next one would be open book. You're gonna need a melt roller for this. And so for your open book, you're gonna lay your head on that melt roller. If you don't have a melt roller, you can use a foam roller. Foam roller's okay, but I wanna encourage you to get a melt roller because a softer roller has a lot of advantages over a hard roller. I don't even have hard rollers in my clinic. So that'll be another episode of Hacks to Stop Back Attack. So check for that. All right, so what we're gonna do, lay on your side, rest your hands like this, and you want the roller to be right below your earlobe, and it's gonna kind of be resting. Your earlobe will rest on the roller a little bit, okay? It's basically at the base of your skull. Knees stacked. Then you're going to take a breath in and rotate and let that roller travel along the back of your head. If you do this with a melt roller, it feels really good. Okay, and then you're going to breathe in as you come back. And let's repeat that five to ten times. So depending on how much time you have, if you can do it ten times, that's great. But if you can't, just do, you know, four or five. So just getting a few in is gonna be way better than not doing any at all. All right, so stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be the melt rebalance sequence, which you can do on your melt roller.